Hello, this is Dr. Whiting and today I want to talk to you about something that becomes more and more of a concern as larger numbers of our society, our population, grows older. You know, I spend a great deal of my life, and if you've seen some of my other videos or you're familiar with some of my writings, I, I've spent over 30 years of my life uh, dedicated to finding better ways to preserve the quality and quantity of human life. And as the baby boom generation, that's the large group of people that I belong to and probably many of you as well, as we are aging, what we are finding out is that it's not just a bodily thing. It's not just how to prevent and reverse arthritis or heart disease or control diabetes or those types of things, prevent bone loss as we grow older. But there's another area that is becoming highly uh, 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 focused and becoming of great attention to, to millions of people. And that's their aging brain, the memory, the mind. Because you see, as we grow older, it's not just the physical body that ages and slows and develops these little problems. But as we grow older, we begin to find out that our memory isn't as good as it used to be. And of course, when we start to lose our memory and we forget common things that we should remember, uh, then we become more excited and we get even more concerned about such things as dementia or severe memory loss or even such things as Alzheimer's. Fortunately, uh, the majority of short-term memory loss that we experience, like you can't remember somebody's phone number five minutes after they tell you, you forget somebody's name that you were introduced to yesterday, and so on, uh, that is not a sign in any way of dementia or uh, Alzheimer's. Um, the short-term memory loss like that is the most common memory problem, but it can be caused by a whole variety of factors and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to lead to some more serious uh, 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 brain disorder or, or, or mental in, in, incapacity. Let's look at some of the things that can cause short-term memory loss. Aging. As we get older, just like the human body, we put more miles on this engine of ours and well, things start to not work as efficiently. Inactivity. You see, as we grow older, many of us become more inactive. And we hit that so-called retirement age and we stop living. We stop doing things. Not all of us, but sadly, far too many. And the old rule in nature, what you don't use, nature takes away. Well, if you don't use the brain, it starts to recede or retire. Another big problem with short-term memory loss is not being what we call in the present moment. You see, everything that ever happens to you happens right now. There is no yesterday, there is no past, and there is no future. Those are figments of the human imagination. The only time you ever have is now, right now. And everything that ever occurs to you, everything that ever happens, everything you ever experience, you experienced now, or in the now. You remember what you experienced in the past, but when you experienced it, it was now. It wasn't in the past. What will happen to you tomorrow or next week will happen to you then, but then will be now. Now that's important because most of us aren't here. We're not home. You heard the old saying, the lights are on, nobody's there. Well, that's really what's going on. Most of us either live in the past or in the future. We worry about what was, what might have been, what could have been, what should have been, or we worry about what might be, what may be, what could be, what hopefully won't be. But we never are concerned with this moment. Many of us use this moment as a mere stepping stone to the next. Something better, something bigger, something greater. So consequently, what goes on in this moment, we frequently miss, or we only half pay attention to. How many times did you put your keys down and you couldn't find them 20 minutes later? You know why you couldn't find them? Because you didn't pay attention to where you put them. Your mind was somewhere else, on something else, in another place in time that doesn't exist, but it wasn't there when you put the keys down. If it was, you'd remember where you put them. Unmanaged stress is another big problem for memory loss. People with excessive stress began to have memory failure very rapidly. 
This is almost always temporary. But I'll bet if you think back the last time you were under an extra large amount of stress and you had a lot of problems, a lot of work, uh, you had a lot of emotional issues going, you had a crisis in your family life somewhere, uh, that your memory starts to really go. And that's because the brain has a protective factor. It will not allow you to overwork it, unlike the body. The body, you can force it and push it until it just simply collapses. But the brain has a mechanism built into it that it begins to self-regulate. And if you overpush it and overwork it and overstress it, it will begin to shut down and pretty soon you can't remember anything. Other factors that can affect your memory include chemical changes in the body, uh, obesity, uh, the presence of certain chronic diseases, and prescription drugs. Now, fortunately, there are a lot of excellent nutrients available to help brain function and increase short-term memory. And most of these have been extensively researched. So we know they're not only effective, but they're extremely safe. In fact, these ingredients pretty much have no interactions with other nutrients or other medications. That means that our memory formula that we've assembled is pretty much safe for everyone to take under any circumstances. Now the first thing that we add to a memory formula are anti-stress nutrients because obviously we want to be concerned about controlling stress levels because that is one of the pivotal reasons why the memory, or especially short-term memory, begins to fail. To those stress nutrients we're going to add key amino acids, glutamine and GABA. Then we're going to add some herbal extracts such as ginkgo biloba, DMAE, vinpocetine, huperzine A, and then we're going to add lecithin, choline, and what I call the granddaddy of all memory formulas or all memory uh, uh, ingredients, phosphatidylserine. And when we combine all of those together, like so often occurs, there's a synergistic or combination benefit that's extremely powerful. In fact, more powerful than using any of these individual substances alone. And that combination of memory formula enhancing nutrients we call easy recall. And I call it easy recall in hopes that you might remember which one that is. Uh, so it's easy recall. And easy recall uh, you can get much more information on from our website at healthyinformation.com or you can call us at 888-454-8464. If you are having problems with your short-term memory and you're worried about it progressing to more serious medical problems, number one, the chances are that's likely not going to occur. Statistically, uh, that's very rare. Secondly, you don't have to sit around and do nothing about it. You can actually fix this problem. And uh, the best way to fix this problem is with a broad spectrum, supportive nutrients that's not only going to help your memory, but overall nourish the brain chemistry of your body, helping to restore it to that of a younger person. And Easy Recall does that and contributes a variety of chemical factors to the brain in a balanced, very effective ratio. If you are suffering from this problem and you'd like to deal with it, you can get the same formula that we use on our clients and patients here at our institute. The formula is called Easy Recall and it is available from a company in Southern California called Phoenix Nutritionals. And you could reach them at 800-440-2390. Or you can visit their website and read more about the formulas that I developed by going to www.phoenixnutritionals.com. Preserve the quality and quantity of your life ahead. Don't just grow old. Let's age and mature with grace and dignity. You can only do that when you take care of the body that's taken such good care of you for so long. Easy Recall is one simple way of creating brain health, improving your memory, and keeping you sharp and alert into your advanced years. I'm Dr. Whiting. And once again, I thank you for listening.